When you're editing your images in Lightroom, are you often finding yourself switching to a different camera profile? If it's the same camera profile you're using each and every time, it will be quicker to actually apply that profile on import. It's possible to do, and in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how. Hi, I'm Charlotte Reeves from Unleashed Education and you've tuned into another editing toolbox video where we share one quick tip, trick or technique to help make your pet photography editing life easier. Let's talk about camera profiles. I have actually created another tutorial about camera profiles, so do make sure you check that out first. Now, if you are using camera profiles, you might find yourself switching to the same profile. You might have a preferred camera profile that you like using. And the reason you have to switch to it is because on import, Lightroom applies a different camera profile. Wouldn't it be great if you can have Lightroom apply your preferred profile automatically every single time? Well, I'm here to tell you that is possible and it's super, super easy. Now you'll want to start out with an unedited raw file like this one here. So as you can see, Lightroom has applied its own default camera profile on import, and that's usually something like Adobe Color. Now the profile that I like to use is actually camera standard. I feel like that gives the nicest results with my Canon R5 files. You'll see the difference if I switch to standard, the reds are a lot more saturated. It's just a much better starting point for me. So starting with the raw file, select your preferred profile. You might need to go into the profile browser to choose the one that you like best. But again, refer back to that video that I've already created about camera profiles for more information about that. So once you've applied that camera profile to the image, you'll need to create a preset. So over here in the develop module, under presets, you'll just need to click the little plus icon here and go create preset. Now I'm gonna call this preset import because I'm going to apply it on import. And now I have to tell Lightroom which settings I want to include in this preset. Now I'm just going to tick treatment and profile here because if you look over here on the right, the treatment is color and the profile is camera standard. That's the only two little bits of information that we want to change on import. So we'll just tick that on import. Process version is also ticked by default because that's kind of tied into the treatment and profile. So I'm just going to go create. And I have now, under user presets here, created a preset called import. Next step is to go up into the preferences and we're gonna go across to presets. Now, as you can see, the default global preset that it's using on import is just Adobe default. That's why we're ending up with Adobe color as the camera profile. So we wanna change this to a preset and we're gonna change it to the preset that we've created called import. And that's actually it. If we close this down, it just means every time we import an image into Lightroom, it's going to apply that preset. And that preset basically just changes the profile to camera standard. Now here's a little bonus tip. If we go back into preferences and presets, if you're using different camera bodies, say you've got a Canon R5 and you've also got a Fuji and you've also got a Nikon, I'm not quite sure why you would have all those three brands, but just in case, if you find yourself using a different camera profile for a different model camera, you can actually set up overrides. So all you need to do is tick override global settings and then go and select the camera model. So I'm gonna go and select say Nikon D5 and then I would basically just choose a different preset that I've already created for that particular camera model. And once you've done that, let's just give it the same one. Once we've done that, you just need to click create default. And that means for any images that have been created by a Nikon D5 instead of any other type of camera, it's actually gonna apply a different import preset. I don't need to do this for this one, so I'm just going to untick override global settings because I only have the one model of camera and that's all I need to worry about. But if you have multiple models of camera, that could come in really handy. So that's basically it, all done. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments and I'll see you for the next editing toolbox soon. Catch you later.